Today we have um, Congressman Ike Skelton, who is visiting Southern California to meet some of us at the Policy and the Pakistan American Community. We have the pleasure and uh, to welcome the Congressman from Missouri. Uh, those of you who don't know much about the Congressman, uh, Congressman Skelton has represented Missouri 4th Congressional District in the House of S Representatives since 1977. His district includes Missouri State, Capital Jefferson T City, and much of the Ozark region of the state. The northmost part of the 4th District includes Ray County, located north of Missouri River. The southmost point of the district is Webster County, only 30 miles from Arkansas's border. Uh, Congressman Skelton, a native of Lexington, is a graduate of Wentworth Military Academy and University of Missouri in Columbia. Congressman Skelton is the chairman of the House Armed Services Committee, one of the most uh, prominent and powerful committee in the U.S. Congress. Congressman, I'd like to welcome you to Los Angeles, Southern California, to meet with us, and thank you so much for taking the time out. Uh, would like to start by saying uh, how long you've been in the Congress and uh, how, what motivated you to join the Congress? Well, <clears throat> I grew up in politics. My father <clears throat> ran for Attorney General when I was less than one year of age, and when I was 14 years old, he ran for Congress uh, unsuccessfully, but I was his 14-year-old uh, unsuccessful campaign manager, but I grew up in politics. And when I got out of law school, I ran for prosecuting attorney and was elected at the age of 24. And then I practiced law a total of 20 years in my hometown of Lexington. The last six years, I was in the Missouri State Senate. And then when the opportunity arose in 1976 to run for Congress, I did. And the 4th Congressional District is mostly small towns. It, it now it consists of 25 counties, West Central Missouri. Uh, we have Whiteman Air Force Base, uh, Fort Leonard Wood, and the National Guard headquarters there. Uh, agriculture in Missouri at its best. Uh, we have uh, mostly in the northern part of our district, corn and soybeans uh, in the, the more southern part of the district, an awful lot of cattle, and we have some major uh, pork production there as well. And as well as uh, some dairy production toward the southern part of our district. So it's very agriculturally oriented, as well as military oriented. Thank you. Congressman, I would like to, for the sake of our audience, uh, would like to hear something about uh, the friendship and relationship over the years with the uh, Pakistan-U.S. friendship. And what can be done more to strengthen this friendship? Well, as I mentioned to you earlier, I've been to Pakistan uh, one time, it was a military trip. Uh, I was actually with, with our speaker uh, when we went. Uh, I know a fair amount about Pakistan through the military eyes. I'm very active in the PME, Professional Military Education. That is the war colleges uh, of our country. And uh, as you know, we have a program for foreign officers, from officers from elsewhere, to study uh, in particular at uh, Fort Leavenworth, Kansas, which is just across the border from Missouri. And uh, I'm with them uh, on various occasions, and uh, this is one of the best means to make friends uh, across uh, cultural and across uh, country lines in the war colleges. And a lot of people really don't realize that because if you study some with someone for a year in, in a seminar, you get to know them, you get to know their families, and in years later, I've heard of many examples, years later when situations arise when you need to talk with someone and learn something in another country, they pick the phone up and uh, can, can make contact with their old friend that they were in Warren College with. And I think that is not as well known or well as appreciated as it should be, but I've been very a strong advocate in working with the War Colleges in America through the years. Uh, would like to hear more about uh, how can we strengthen the so-called love-hate relationship Pakistan has with the U.S. over 62 years. Sometimes uh, we are best buddies and sometimes we don't get along. Uh, what can be done uh, to make it further stronger to strengthen the relationship between the two countries? What's a matter of communication? 
uh, the more you know someone, uh, the more you visit with someone uh, and become friends, uh, it's a matter of trust. And uh, you, you trust friends and it's, it's, uh, you have to work at friendship and um, presence, friendship, understanding each other and I think an awful lot of problems are and can be and have been and will be solved just by that very simple formula of uh, communication and, and uh, knowledge of each other. Congressman, our audience would like to hear that uh, over the past um, 10 years almost, since 9-11, uh, there's almost 30,000 lives have been lost in Pakistan uh, from military officials to the civilian, and a tremendous amount of collateral damage has happened in the last nine years since 9-11. Uh, can, how can U.S. or what can U.S. do to compensate some of these lives uh, people have lost over the years? Can Department, uh, Defense Department from their budget uh, compensate, create some compensation uh, committee to compensate these uh, civilians and military officials? I don't think uh, that would be out of the military budget. My best judgment in answering your question would be a situation with the American State Department for that it falls in the diplomatic realm. And I think that an, an approach to the State Department would uh, get you closer to an answer than something out of the uh, armed services. Congressman, what uh, would you like us as a Pakistani American from Pakistan living in the U.S., what would you like to uh, see what we can do to strengthen the relationship or work behind the scene uh, to strengthen the relationship between Pakistan and the U.S.? Just what I said a few minutes ago, uh, make friends. Uh, let people know from whence you come, the contributions that you make, which are fantastic. Uh, and the more you know someone, uh, and the, the more you like them, the more you trust them. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a matter of uh, just getting to know each other uh, all the better, and in, in the end result, uh, you'll have uh, better relations, better understanding. Congressman, what would you like to say about the drone, constant drone attacks being carried out in Pakistan? Is there any way where Pakistan military can work with the U.S. military to decide which area should be uh, used for drone attack? Because uh, the constant uh, negative uh, press comes in Pakistan where the masses have been told that the U.S. drones come in and they kill so many people. I mean, uh, is this something which is going to be reduced or work together with the Pakistani military? Well, I understand uh, that uh, the terrorists and those in, in the Taliban who are the object of the drone attacks uh, so often will surround themselves with the civilian population, which of course is abhorrent to me, and, and I'm sure to Pakistanis as well as to Americans. Uh, local information local knowledge passed on uh, to the Americans or to the Pakistan military, which would share it with Americans, I think would be all very, very helpful. Congressman, would really appreciate, thank you so much for coming to, and talking to us today. We really appreciate your time and all your effort, and good luck in your stay in Southern California. Thank you. Thank you.